Hi guys, it's me. So today we are going to make some really cute um, little envelopes um, that you can put in your junk journal or that you can put the vintage postcards in that we made together a couple days ago or a day ago. I'm not sure when I'm going to post this video, but it will definitely be out before. So they're really cute, really fun, um, and you can use them and it's a great way to use your napkin stash. So what we are going to do first is we are going to decoupage um, our napkins onto our pieces of paper. Um, I really love um, like vintage um, paper for this, um, book pages. Um, this is an encyclopedia, so that's what I'll be using, but you can use whatever you like. I'm going to be using my Deco Americana Deco Arts deco page glue in gloss. I really love this stuff. It works really, really well. So that's what we're going to use. Um, my postcards are usually small index size. So that's what I'm going to use. That's what I'm going to use as my template. Um, so really easy. And then you're going to need some napkins too. So whatever kind of napkins you want. I got some that were kind of vintagey looking to me um, that were inspired by um, vintage stuff so that's what I'm going to use I think maybe I'll do this one this was gifted to me in Happy Meal and I don't think that I've ever actually used it for anything so it's time to start using <laughs> alrighty so sorry my desk is kind of a mess here okay we're going to take this and I'm going to tear my napkins just because I like how that looks rather than cut uh, but you can do whatever you like. And I just want to tear out um, the image, really. But you could do the entire napkin if you wanted to. There's no rules for this. Um, this is just something that I thought would be kind of cool. So, And I did have a video, too, on how you can decoupage um, on book pages. I will link that below. That's a really um, fun video um, to watch if you catch the bug. But there's so many different things that you can do. Um, but I thought this time we would do envelopes and I would even show you how how to do them without you having to watch that video. Okay, so we'll take that and I'm just going to think of where I want to put this. I could put it this way, which would be interesting. Maybe we'll glue it down this way. I've mostly done them like this in the center. Um, I'm not worried about how they're going to fold because um, I think it's really pretty you know, with the, the book pages. So we don't have to worry about that part. Alrighty, so let's grab our glue here and a brush. Use one of these brushes here. I have special brushes that I use for glue. Do you guys have that? Yeah, I just don't like to gunk up on my brushes. When I'm in my class, though, my students, they can, you know, they use whatever brush they want, and that's fine, but just for me, um, just I like to use like kind of rougher brushes like for oil paint and these are really cheap you can get this at the dollar store or glue brushes or Harbor Freight has these little guys that you can get into a pack that have a mental a metal a metal barrel and those are fun to use too or I like to use these like hardware brushes for my mediums I'm just curious if you guys do that too or if you just are or if all your brushes are equal opportunity <laughs> brushes which is fine too there we go, just like that. Right, and then we're going to just stick this down. And I don't know how this is going to turn out. It might be terrible, but we're going to try it. We're going to be adventurous. And I'm going to try to keep this video a little bit down in time, since the other one was fairly longer. I think about a half an hour. So we're going to try to keep this a little bit down. So I'm just gluing everything down. I don't care if my napkin gets wrinkled. Um, if that bothers you, you can use plastic wrap and put it down very, very gently and just use a little bit of glue and that will do the trick. So it's up to you. So I'm just going to let that dry. I'm gonna put the top on my glue because I never remember to do that. <laughs> bad, bad, bad. Okay, I'm gonna stick that in the brush. And let's grab, I'll show you a couple more that I did too. So I have this one, which is so pretty, it's all dried. <coughs> and I just love that you can um, see the text. I think it's so pretty. This is with birds. I did one with a rose also. 
So really fun. Just go through your napkin stash and get things that you love. Now we need to make a template. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So to make a template, you're just going to grab a piece of the same size paper. And we are going to make a triangle with it or a square. I'm sorry. It is a triangle now, but it's going to be a square. So all you do is you'll start at whatever end of the paper you want. Maybe I'll start here. Okay, just like that. And you're gonna go to the very, very tip. All right, just like that. And we're gonna fold it nicely. And these are handmade mackins, so don't kill yourself. Like, I don't think that you need to measure at all. I don't like to measure in general. And then we're just gonna take this and we're gonna fold it down. And we just want it even with this paper up here. Does that make sense? So with that flap, which I did not do a good job of, it might be better to do it the other way. And we'll just scrape that down, just like that. And then I'm just going to cut off this part, the whole flappy part, and I will put that in my collage bag for other projects, but I just want to cut that line. And I know they have fancy like napkin punches and all that stuff, but for us people on a budget that don't have one of those, um, you can really make any type of envelope, any size envelope um, with your hands and just with a few folds. So, yeah. <laughs> all right, so we have our template. So what we're gonna do, and I'll show you, I did another template too is this is the same template basically so what you'll do is you put your card in here and you can make this is great for like cards that are a little bit funny or a little bit off or postcards or anything like that and you want an envelope for them or if you make tags or something you would do this same exact thing it works very very well so what you're going to do is you'll just put this right in the middle um just make sure that the top edge is um against the ends of the paper. So this end and this end, right? I'll show you on here, it might be better. So we're gonna turn it diagonal like that, and then I could just put it in the middle like that, but it's gonna be a little bit funny. Um, so I need a flap that looks really nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bud this up against this edge and that edge. So that looks pretty good to me, I think about there. Perfect, okay? Very good. And then we're going to fold this up like that. And we will do it on our fancy paper. And then this part goes over here like that. And then this part goes over like that. And already you see an envelope. Now this part I do cut off, so I just push it down. And that I will cut off. But I won't do it for this purpose. And then this goes over. So I know that I'm a little bit off over on this side. I think I went a little bit too far up. So we'll go down a little bit. There you go, that looks better. Okay, so let's try this again. We'll stick you like that. And you over like that. And you over like that. And then we'll just do And you can just put it down for now. Stick that one like that. And it's an envelope. See? There is a little bit of a gap there, but um, that's just because I didn't do such a good job of cutting out a perfect square. But it does. It works just fine. And it looks like that. And that one you see that I cut off. And it's uneven, but it's supposed to be a handmade, you know, envelope. So we're not going to worry about that. So let's do it on our other paper now our fancy fancy paper that we made. Okay. Alrighty, we're gonna take this and we will give it a cut here. I'm just gonna cut off the edges. Sorry, I should have done that before, but I totally spaced it, so we're gonna do it now. Again, we're going to take it and I'm going to figure out let's see what I want in there. 
I do it like this and I'm going to turn it around so I can kind of see. So again, I'm going to do this corner. I want that nice here like that. Oh, my birdie will be in there. I like that. Okay. So we'll take that and we're just going to push that part down just like we did before, right? So diagonal like this, make a triangle, and then we're just gonna fold this up and that's the part that we cut off. And I will do another one, even though it will make the video longer. And we'll do another one. Okay, just like that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we have our beautiful vintage postcards that we made. So that's what I'm going to use as a template for this. So I'm gonna fold this over like that. Put it right up against that edge there, just like that. And then we're going to bring this up. Oh, nice and high. That's really high. And then we're going to go this way with this little guy, like so. Put it up against there. Fold this over like so. Push, 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 push. Oops. And you just want to make sure that things are a little bit tight, just like that. Alrighty, darling. And then we're going to push this. I talk to myself when I create. I know that's really weird, but I totally do. <laughs> it is weird, but yes, I do. Okay, and then we'll do this like that. Alrighty, I think I'm just a little bit off there. be better perfect okay so then we'll just and you just have to fiddle around with it the great thing about this is that this paper is really soft because it has that deco page glue on it see and then we can just stick it down like that and you have a cute little envelope and I'm just going to just to show you I'm gonna just fold that down let's see if we can get these back together here just Make sure that it's pressed down there like so and like so we'll press this down like that and i'm just fiddling with this because i want it to be the way that i want it but we're good. And I promise. Okay, so let's just push that against there. And this part is what's giving me the trouble, I think, over here. And then it goes like that. And this, actually, over here, that needs to be there. It is not cooperating very well here. There we go. I think that will work. Okay, perfect. Alrighty. Okay, we have a nice little envelope and all you're gonna do is just add some glue. So this part actually should have come up a little bit more. There we go. I'm gonna just tuck that in. You don't have to do that, but I am going to do that because it's a little bit funny. And I know that it's because of my coating. Okay, <laughs> just like that. Alrighty, so we're just going to glue down this flap. So I'll grab a glue stick. You can use a glue stick, double-sided sticky tape, whatever you want. I'm going to use my old-fashioned purple glue stick here. Because I love it. And we'll just add a little bit of glue there. Yep, we're still good. Alrighty, over here, this one looks good too, so we'll just add a little bit of flops, and don't worry, I'll do another one so you can see it. Here we go, and you can make these so they lined it up at the edge, I don't really care. Um, I like things to look like they were made by my hands, so that's just a preference thing, but you can totally do whatever you want. There's nothing the matter with being precise either, but... 
we all make our art differently and that's beautiful. So then you can stick this in the mailbox. You just put a stamp on there. It's really pretty, very, very nice. Um, you could ink around the edges too. So we could, I have an ink pad here. I could just go around and ink it up a little bit. I could use this as like um, a tuck spot or a pocket in my journal, which is probably what I'm gonna use these guys for. Um, so really fun. Very cool. And the card comes right out if I didn't glue it to the card. So just like that. So nice. And I recommend that you use just another index card to test this out. Do not be like me and mess up your beautiful artwork, right? So we can stick those in like that. Very nice. And it works very, very good. You could put a little bit of washi tape or I love putting like little stickers to seal mine up. But really fun. Very easy. You could even do Veralco too. So let's do another one. Let's try this rose one. I don't know how this one will turn out. It will be a surprise for all of us. So again, we're gonna take it and I'm just gonna figure out. I'll do it that way, I won't have any of my rose. So we'll do it this way. So again, diagonal. I'm gonna start at the very, very tip of my paper. And I'm gonna make a triangle shape, just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to fold it over like so. Looks pretty good. And then this we're going to fold over. Just like that. Oops. It's probably where I'm losing some inches there. This paper is so thin. It's beautiful vintage paper. So just have to make sure that it's, if it was stiff, this would probably be easier to measure. But all that's all right. I think I got it. I think I made a new line. I'm going to maybe start over here just to make sure that I got that right. Just like that. And you don't have to fold it over. I'm sorry, I should have showed you how to use it on your template. <laughs> I didn't. I made a template. I didn't even use it. I'm sorry. So <laughs> that's okay. But what you could do, and the reason why we made a template, which I totally spaced, is that if you didn't want this center fold, it doesn't bother me that much. You could just take it and just open this up and then cut it and put a line here and then just cut it that way without the origami folds. But I like the folds. I don't mind them. And you can't really tell. Like I did it on here and I guess you have this little line here, but I don't think that's too bad. That doesn't bother me. I didn't notice, but it really doesn't bother me. <laughs> so maybe what we'll do is we'll, since you saw me do that, we'll do it this way, okay? So let me go ahead and trim around this. And we will actually use the template. So you can see what it looks like without crazy folds. Very good. Okay. Alrighty, so we'll take this and like so. I'm just going to make sure that it's against that bottom edge there. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in there like that. I'm just going to draw a line. And we'll cut it. We'll see how straight it is. Hopefully I will cut straight on the line. Perfect. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So let's do another one here. So we're just going to bud that up against the, the edge. Maybe I'll do it this way. This is a little bit easier to work with because it doesn't have these notches in it. That's the only thing that I'm thinking about here. We'll take that and we will perfect. Okay, so we'll fold this one up like so. Oh, that's a pretty flower. And the great thing about the inside of these envelopes look great too. We'll do that one. And we'll 
we'll do this one. I don't know if that's right, but we will see in a second. And then we'll do, I'm just gonna like eyeball this and see here. I like um, these folded down, so that's what I'm gonna do. Just like that, make sure that that's in there. Put that down like so. Like so, and like so. Perfect. And then let's see if we got it. I think that we do. Okay, so, oops, I just want to. There we go. That should be good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now this side is giving me a problem. So I think that it needs to be down just a little bit. Yeah. A little bit more down. There we go, like that. I think that's better. Just like that. Okay, now we're cooking with grease here. Okay. Very good. All right, let's see if we are. There we go. Oh, that looks great. Okay, so that's it, guys. That's our little envelope. And then we can just add blue. I just added here, just along there. And then I'll add a little bit over there. But first, I just want to get this corner sealed. So just on the diagonal there. Oops. We'll go like that. Just like that. And you could do this with washi tape too. You don't have to use glue. I'm just going to, since this is the last wee bit of my glue stick, I'm going to just use this part. We'll add some of this here, like so. Oh, these are so fun. Okay, and then we'll add some of that too. Oops. I added a little bit too much glue, but that's okay. We'll work with that. All right. All right, and I'm just gonna wipe that off with my baby wipe. And then that would just be right on top like that. Very nice. I like that, okay. And you have a little envelope, how cute. And hopefully our work will slide right out. Very nice. Very, very nice. And I didn't glue that down very well. So what we're going to do is we'll just go in and add some glue stick there. No biggie. Make sure that doesn't stick though. So you can make these really adorable and cute little envelopes. And I hope that you will because they're so fun to make. And I know that you will enjoy them. So sorry that this video was almost as long as the other video because I did not use the template. But as you can see, you don't have those funny little folds. It's a really cute napkin. Um, so you don't get the folds. And for this one, I don't have folds either because I use the template. So it's very cool. It works very, very well. So. I mean, you can hardly tell because it's napkin and it's textured. And look, when you open that up, you can really see the rows. So they're really pretty. Very nice. Man. Very, very nice. And here you can see the birdies. They're on the back, but it's still very, very interesting. It's so pretty. So I hope you make a ton of these little envelopes. Hopefully I explained everything really well. If I did not, please forgive me and please um, leave me a comment and maybe I can explain to you how I did it. Okay, but I think that it was easy to understand, but you never know. <laughs> okay, so I hope the envelope making and I will link um, the supplies that I used and then also the video of how I made the decoupaged um, book pages, which was years ago. That was like a long time ago, like maybe three or four years ago. It's been a while. I've been on YouTube for a while, so <laughs> it's one of my oldies but goodies, so very cool and then you could just put like a little bit of washi tape down here if you wanted so you could just seal it with washi tape and you could just glue it you know tape it down to your journals and have a little tuck spot so these are very versatile or you could just put it in the mail for your friend just put a stamp on it and they're so cute and they're really fun and they don't weigh um, very much at all and it's just a really beautiful keepsake um, for you to give to someone and send in happy mail. Okay, now I'm going to stop talking and I will see you guys later. I hope that you have a wonderful day 
And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Have a wonderful day.